Well, we're getting a little bit more information about some more biometric stuff coming out. One from the WEF and one coming from Germany. Let's take a look, shall we? Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Zach, the Rich Watchman. I'm bringing you a little bit of news on the biometric front. You know me, I'm always trying to keep an eye on what's going on with this. So let's take a look and see what's going on. It's no... I mean, it should be no surprise to us about what they're trying to do with biometrics. They're trying to connect the Internet of bodies to the Internet of things to keep full tabs on you, to control pretty much every aspect of your life. And they're just trying to feed it to you in the way of convenience. I've always talked about how this stuff is basically just trying to kill you with convenience. And they're just continuing to do more and more and more. And in the name of security and safety and authorization uh, and authentication, uh, all those wonder wonderful author words um well they're they're trying to uh say that because there's so much ai and so many deep fakes happening that they need to dive further into your lives uh than they originally thought that they were going to have to do so let's kind of take a look at this and see what we got coming from the wef and from germany shall we all right Coming from the WEF, this is from their latest report coming from the 4th of January here in this year of 2024. It says new technologies are helping to identify sophisticated AI deepfakes. Here's how. We get a little quick list here. It says deepfakes and other AI-based technology are helping identify thieves to develop increasingly sophisticated scams. It says both people and organizations are at risk from identity-based fraud, whether it's a company hiring remotely or a person making a bank transfer. Again, it's all in the name of security and safety and all that stuff it says biometric technology provides a way to verify identities and it's also becoming more sophisticated moving beyond fingerprints and facial recognition wow moving beyond that what do you want a spleen seriously uh moving beyond free fingerprints and facial recognition to help people and organizations work out if their identity or if the identity being verified even belongs to a, a real live person now it's it again this shouldn't surprise us either ai is becoming extremely more advanced they're creating not only images now but they've got full on 3d models and videos and 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 they can talk and do all these things is it perfect not yet will it get to that point i certainly certainly believe that it will and it's only advancing by the day now of course they're going to use that obviously to say well we're going to need more of your life maybe a spleen uh, in order to verify that it's actually you that's going to be doing all this technological stuff that we're also forcing upon you. They created the problem and they're going to offer the solution, shockingly enough, and the solution's not in our favor, it's in theirs. So uh, let's keep looking at this article and see what else they got to say, shall we? Because I know we're all excited to see what else they got. It says, clearly, as these attackers and fraudsters become more sophisticated, legacy identity verification methods aren't up to the job of protecting us anymore. Hmm. Biometric technology offers a better way to verify identity and is becoming easier and better to use. You've heard many times that to create the strongest password, you need a lengthy string of upper lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Yeah, stop making me change my password and add a bunch of stuff in there that I don't remember, please. Sorry, a little personal tidbit there. Uh, this means the key to, safe, uh, to safety is a password that's long enough and hard to remember, and this is one of the reasons that biometric ID verification is so secure. Attributes like your fingerprints and face become your password, and they're unique to you. That is the Internet of Bodies, y'all. Uh, uh, plus, you don't have to worry about forgetting your pet's first name or what your favorite movie was when you set up the account five years ago. Hmm. Keep going. It says new developments like liveness verifications are becoming an essential element of biometric identity systems. For instance, if a security check requires a selfie or facial recognition, a criminal could try to present a photo or video instead of a real-time live selfie. Liveness detection can combat these efforts by helping to determine if it's real or selfie or not. So basically what they're trying to say on this is because AI is becoming so um, advanced uh, that it actually can produce the video needed for one of these liveness checks. So they have to figure out a way to counter that liveness check. If you don't know is they'll make you put up the thing and it's a live video and they make you like turn your head to make sure that it's actually you. Well, AI is now to the point where they can do that and access accounts via that. Well, they're trying to take things further now because of the issue that they created. Hmm. Finishing this off. 
It says fraudsters work tirelessly to take what isn't theirs, including identities. As AI technology continues to advance, organizations have a uh, work have to work harder to ensure their customers and employers' data and identities are safe, and that they are remotely hiring actual people who match their IDs. Today's organization can fight fire with fire, defeating deep fake and AI, te- AI technologies with a rapidly advancing bionic biometric technology we want to know more about you so we can put it in our profile because these ai people are making things just way too uh uh, hard to identify who you are this is the day and age that we live people and it's only going to get worse shall we now i talk about the internet of bodies and the internet of things all the time i haven't necessarily talked about it too much recently but what does this biometric pass port stuff that's what i call it biometric passport what is it what is it connected to and how does it work with all of the things that they're trying to do how does that connect to the internet of things well let's just kind of take a look the internet of things passport so first off you got climate we always have to add that in there because that's all what they're building everything off of so as much as we know it's stupid um (laughs) we have to add it in there and understand the aspect of it so climate carbon tracking they want to track us we understand they're working on carbon credit systems uh they're trying to do things for land grabs uh through carbon they're also trying to do things what you can buy what you can eat through carbon as well so obviously that's going to be tracked in your biometric passport along with your health with a, a vitamin Passport as well. That's also going to be in there. Plus, you have the financial aspect. This is probably the one everybody knows the most. Digital wallets, CBDCs, shopping, you know, the Amazon One stuff where you buy it with your hand. That's a bi- part of your biometric password connected to your digital wallet, which is connected to your CBDC, which is connected to your social profile that stores all this stuff. So that's all connected as well. You got the travel, whether it's through districts, public transportation. We've seen what's going on with the airport travel and the biometrics 2024 just launch that um, ahead for most of these countries around the world. Then you have the convenience factor, which is your network of life. What on earth does that mean? That means everything is going to be connected to your face and your thing. You don't need 500 passwords. You don't need papers and ID cards for all these different things. You don't need uh, different accounts for all these type of things. Everything will be folded under one roof, your face or your fingerprint or whatever. So they're feeding it as, hey, you don't have to forget anything. You don't need all this type of stuff. You just need your face. So that has to do with the convenience factor. So killing you with convenience. Last but not least, of course, is surveillance. Besides financial, this is probably the other one everybody knows about. And this has to do with all the different things, whether it's your online uh, surveillance, street surveillance, smart cities, the smart street lights that they're putting out have cameras and uh, microphones as well. So all the street lights are starting to get that stuff. Doesn't matter if you walk into stores, they've got the biometric face scanners as you walk in. And yes, things like your ring doorbell, your robot vacuum, your smart coffee pot and all that stuff that's all keeping tabs on you as well controlling not controlling but uh surveilling your entire way of life they add all that into your social profile they learn how you move and all these things and what your patterns of life are this is part of it as well and they just want more and more and more and more of it give an inch they take your life that's how it goes now what's up with germany well we got some latest news coming from germany here says Germany is now to mandate biometric photos for your documents. No longer will you be able to just have a regular photo or a regular document. No, it needs to be the specific biometric in order to be accepted. So starting in May of next year, 2025, German authorities will accept only biometric photographs for official documents. What was first offered as a, uh, well, it's in, it's an option. Well, the next stage is always, now it's requirement. That's just how it goes. And it says photographs for official documents, including IDs, passports, and immigration documents. The timeline of the introduction of biometric photos was first announced October 2023. And and the move comes after a successful 2023 pilot to enhance document security, according to the EU reporter. The German Ministry of Interior says that biometric photos will speed up the identification document holders. It's security. It's convenience. It's faster. It's the best way to do it. Just give us your life. Citizens should be spared inconveniences. There it is. See, Especially during border controls, the ministry said. Yeah, because you're doing a absolutely ducky job over in Europe for your borders. That's for sure. Uh, The capture of biometric data and the unequivocal identification of the applicant uh, are therefore a central part of applying to an identification document from the local authorities. 
It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's increasing. They're going to continue to dive further into your biometric life and just into your life in general. And they're going to attach you to every bit that they can. So you create the problem. You bring in the solution, which is taking more of your freedom and your privacy and attaching it to the Internet of Bodies, which goes to your Internet of Things, your social profile. And they can then watch and control every aspect of your life. This is how it's going. Some people want to say this is a comic book. Some people want to say this is a sci-fi movie. I tell you, this is reality. Reality is stranger than fiction, I'm telling you guys. And this is what is coming. It's only going to get worse from here. So what do you do? Just uh, get rid of everything in your life. Uh, disconnect. Go find a cave. And and just, you know, lie in the field position in the uh, the corner until the Lord comes. No. The fact is, is there's no way to stop it. Yeah, you can do the voluntary stuff. I mean, everybody should. I got tape on some of my webcams and stuff that I uh, that I don't want them to access. I always put a cover back on my, my camera. But the fact is, is they know every single part of your life. You can't hide from it. There's no stopping it. And trying to alter your entire life and make yourself miserable trying to keep the electric eye from being upon you just isn't an option. It's not a smart option. We need to be busy. We need to be busy sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and warning people of what's coming. And if you're more worried about trying to stop them from seeing the sandwich that you're eating for lunch, then that's going to get in the way of things. And it's also not exactly a fun way to live. I mean, yeah, we're obviously supposed to be busy right now, but you can still enjoy life a little bit. Shredding every ounce of happiness in your life to try and stop them from... Finding information that they already have on you is no way to live. They've got you. But I always tell people in this case, they may be watching you, but God's watching them. And they can't make a move without his permission. That should bring you comfort. So don't worry about this stuff. Don't. Yeah. I mean, obviously do the voluntary stuff, you know, tape or cover over your, your camera or whatever when you're not using it. But don't let it disrupt the rest of your life and what we need to be busy in doing. And that's the Lord's work. All right, guys, I'm the Wretched Watchman. I'm going to leave you guys right here. Hopefully you have a good rest of your week. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ with as many people as you can because that's what we got to do. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Aaron Arthur.